What's up, 4 Sage? Welcome back to Tribal Review. On today's episode, we'll learn more about how four of our seniors were awarded a scholarship. Also on the show, we'll learn about what our seniors are planning to do after graduation. And I'll have recent updates from spring sports. All this and more coming up on Tribal Review. At Advanced Auto Parts, you'll be greeted by one of their friendly employees. Check out the most trusted auto battery in the industry, the Die Hard. A complete lineup of Die Hard batteries can only be found at Advanced or CarQuest stores. Open 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. Friendly Advanced Associates are available to assist you in all your automotive needs. Visit one of the four Independence locations today for quality CarQuest parts and Advanced Auto Parts advice. Hey Fort Shays High School, I'm Ashlyn Spear. May is National Barbecue Month. Whether it's chicken, ribs, pulled pork, or beef, it's all good when it's barbecued. So take advantage of the nice weather and get together with your family or friends and have a barbecue. And I'm Nevaeh McNew. Today is Wednesday, May 11th, 2022, and here are your top school news stories. Biomedical <laughs> Innovations English Block students Haley Esteban, Precious Plasme, Kayla Roberts, and Mariana Vileka all earned a Make It Real scholarship from the KC STEM Alliance on May 3rd. These students worked with Ms. Jennifer Gibson and Ms. Amanda Shropshire. The past four years in the Project Lead the Way biomedical program, the students submitted an essay and video reflecting reflection and a senior showcase capstone project. Over 390 students applied for the scholarship and only five students were chosen, of which four were from Fort Osage High School. The chess club competed in the Local Investment Commission K through 12 chess tournament at Smith Hill Middle School. On May 7th, Evan Salamacina took first place in his division. The countdown is on for the seniors as they approach graduation on May 13th. Travel Review reporter Riley Keene wanted to find out what three seniors are planning to do post-graduation. As we are getting to the end of the year, seniors are starting to find where they belong. Jasmine Fields Cosmetology School is her path. I go to cosmetology school because I want to learn how to do hair. Army boot camp lasts 12 weeks. Jason believes the Army is more than just a job. Uh, I chose the Army just to simply like serve the country, you know. Becoming a teacher takes four years of school. Tyler feels he belongs in this career path. I want to be a teacher after high school because like, I don't know, I just want to kind of teach. I feel like it's like it fits my like character a lot better than going to do like a blue collar job. Out of the class of 2022, 32 people have already committed. Reporting for Travel Review, I'm Riley Key. Thanks Riley. I'm gonna miss a lot of the seniors. Yeah, I'm super excited to see what they do after high school. After the break we'll learn more about one of our senior band members, so stay online with us and we'll be right back. <music> Enjoy Toscana's in our new waiting and dining area while catching up on your favorite sporting events on our big screen TVs. Come in and try the freshly made pizzas served with our homemade bread. Or try some of our favorites like the spinach artichoke chicken pasta or lasagna. Also, if you're in the mood for something new, try the spicy penne rustica or spaghetti carbonara. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy at Toscana's located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Welcome back. Trinity Tompkins is a senior band member and a leader at our school. I had the chance to visit with her and others to find out more about her high school band experience. Trinity is a part of marching band, jazz band, pep band, wind ensemble, robotics, NAHS, NHS, softball, and youth groups. And she feels that band has a very family aspect to it. I think um, the family aspect of band is what I mainly focus on and that's what I love about our band program. The Art RB is a big, one big family no matter if you're struggling, on, struggling at something at home or 
anything on a test, someone in band is able to help you or Miss G will always be there to ask someone to talk to and listen for advice. Trinity plays trombone, baritone, euphonium, and tuba. Seth believes that Trinity has affected his band experience overall. She's really pushed me to do everything that I've um, been wanting to do. Uh, there's a lot of skill that goes into this stuff and it's, it's hard and she just really pushes me and gets me to where I need to be. Trinity wants to major in elementary education. Ms. Gregory believes that Trinity has affected the band in a positive way. Um, I think Trinity has brought a positive energy to the band, a sense of family belonging, the way she communicates with her section but with everybody else and just kind of making the band a place where it's okay to be you, everybody is welcome, um, but also holding people to high standards and holding people accountable for their actions and stuff. So she's definitely going to have an impact at her college campus when she goes. Trinity is going to Central Methodist University. I'm Nevaeh McNew, signing off for Trouble Review. Thanks, Nevaeh. It's really cool learning more about what she does for our school. Yeah, and I very much enjoyed learning more about Trinity. Dusty McDonald now joins us for the Indian Sports Report. Hey Destiny, a lot of spring sports were postponed or canceled last week. Yes, the weather put a damper on things, but some teams are able to compete. I'll have all the updates after this break. Head on down to campus grounds with your friends to enjoy some cozy coffee and a breakfast burrito or grilled cheese. They're open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. through 5 p.m. and Saturday, 7 a.m. through 2 p.m. Campus grounds is located at 26 911 East US 24 Highway, Buckner, Missouri. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dustin McDonald with your Indian Sports Report. The girls' soccer team traveled to Truman High School on May 3rd. The Indians defeated the Patriots 2-1. Macy Smith and Emma Lee each scored a goal to lead the Indians. On May 5th, the team hosted Raytown for senior night. The Indians defeated the Blue Jays 8-0. Senior Emma Lee put on a show with a double hat trick plus one by scoring seven goals. She set the single match record for the school. Madison Smith scored the other goal for the Indians, as the girls now sit at 8-6 on the season. The Florida Stage baseball team faced off against Oak Grove on May 9th. The Sun, Wind, and Heat returned to the Midwest as the Indians lost to the Panthers 8-5. Zach Tillman took advantage of the high wind and launched two balls over the left center field fence, one for a two-RBI homer and another solo shot. Pitcher Cale Frenchen started the game and went four innings, striking out three Panthers. The team now sits at 6-17 and on the season. The boys' tennis team competed in the individual Class 3 District 7 tournament on May 7th. Brady Dar had the only victory in the tournament. The team Class 3 District 7 boys' tennis tournament started May 9th. The Indians lost to the, in the opening round to North Kansas City 5 to nothing. The team ends the season with a 3-9 and nine match record. The boys' golf team competed in the Greater Kansas City Suburban Conference Tournament on May 2nd. The Indians finished third behind first place Grain Valley and second place Truman. Luke Ross led the team with an 86, followed by Angel Cornejo and Tyler Bryson's 95. Brody McBee shot a 97. With these scores, Ross and Cornejo earned all-conference honors, while Frenson and McBee earned honorable mention. Well, that's it for the Indian Sports Report. I'm Destin McDonald. Ashlyn and Nevea will have more news after the break. Did you know that there are over 35,000 unaccompanied homeless youth in the United States? Every night, thousands of young people go to sleep without the safety, stability, or support of a family. For this reason, Drum Farm offers street outreach services. We offer free therapy and free case management. Our therapy services are designed to create safety for youth to share what's going on in their lives and heal from trauma. Our case management services are designed to help young adults find safe and stable housing, access food resources, hygiene items, obtain legal documents like the birth certificate, social security card, IDs, and much more. If you think you could benefit from these services, visit your counseling office today. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. We continue to spotlight the seniors by finding out what their next steps will be. Tribal Review reporter Skylar Ramirez went around the school asking seniors what their life plans are after they graduate. Graduation is May 13th and I was wanting to know what seniors are doing after graduation. Uh, I'm going to be a Navy. I'm going to be a Navy mechanic. 
My plan after high school is to go to UCM for pediatric endocrinologist and play softball. I plan on going to college for interior design. After high school, I plan on going into the union and doing heavy machinery. Uh, well, for a couple years, I'm just going to keep working at the school, cleaning, but once I turn 21, I want to try to get my CDL license to drive some of my trucks. My plan after high school is to go to MCC for two years to be a web developer. I plan to go to Maple Woods for two years, get my prereqs, then transfer to um, St. Luke's Schooling of Stenography to get my Bachelor's of Science in Medical Stenography. After high school, I would like to go to film school and possibly go to school for um, guitar. After high school, I will be attending the University of Missouri-Columbia to major in agricultural education with a minor in leadership and communications. I will also be serving as, as a Missouri FFA state officer for the 2022-2023 year. Um, my plan is to go to college for MCC to get my welding and uh, metallurgy degree. After high school, I am going to MCC to major in dental. I'm Skylar Ramirez reporting for Travel Review. Thanks, Skylar. I'm super excited to see what their plans are after school. Yeah, their plans did sound interesting. The Envirothon team traveled to Runge Nature Center in Jefferson City on May 4th to compete in the state contest. The team of Caitlin Kappeler, Jonah Sanchez, Brett Winnegar, and Brock Brandstetter finished in seventh place, and the team of Logan Mullins, Brianna Cox, Elena Edgar, Ryan York, Garrett Pejo finished in eighth. Both teams competed tests in aquatics, wildlife, forestry, soils, and over the current issue of developing alternative energy using waste. It's max out time in weights training class. Students gave their best effort in the weighted medicine ball throw and the standing long jump. Both exercises help develop the student's strength and agility. As always, if you're looking for more news and information about Fort Osage High School, you can always find additional coverage at fohssignal.net. There you'll find stories about the students and activities of the school. So check it out today. Well, that's it for today's show. I'm Ashlyn Spear. I'm Nevaeh McNew. And I'm Dustin McDonald. Thanks for spending a part of your day with us.